What's up, everyone? Guy on the right here for your uh, Wednesday night stream. Hope everybody's doing okay. Let's see if I can get the chat up. Doesn't look like we have too many people here in the chat, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started anyway. Um, <clears throat> going over Monday night footage um, this past Monday, and yeah, it's a it's pretty packed mass to start out with. So pretty excited to to get into this. Uh, I've got Alex and Mitchell. We've got Cole and Ronnie. We've got Victor and Danielle. We've got Andre and Ricky. And then over here on the right, we've got Ben and Cooper that are just out of your screen here. Looks like Victor's putting to work uh, some of the leg lock entries that we've been going over these past couple of weeks and Danielle on the counter attack. Cole's on Veronica's back. Andre in the guard of Ricky. Alex going after Mitchell from top position, side control. Probably like 20 seconds or so left in this first round here. I like seeing Victor put to work some of the escapes that we've gone over. That was that was pretty nice. Ricky going into the leg here at the end of the round on Andre. Cole coming in hot on Cooper. Me and Andrew, Victor, and Veronica, Ben and Alex. And it looks like we're gonna get Cole, oh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna get Caleb and Andre. <laughs> Big lift. He messed up your nose? What a jerk. Isn't your nose always messed up, Cooper? A lot going on at the beginning. We've got Ben up here trying to go for some foot sweeps here on Alex. I always like seeing that. What's up, James? I'm flying solo again, so point out anything that I'm missing. I know I'm going to miss something. Oh, you're right. Wonder why. Hmm. It's on, but I I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Matt too. Then I could blame him. I don't know, it worked last stream. I didn't change anything. Ah, I probably missed a bunch of stuff happening here. <laughs> See, I like the way you think. Very weird. What is going on? I don't know. It's beyond me, man. Beyond me. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, let's. I want to back up. I want to see how uh, Caleb got Andre. All right, so Andre trying to trying to wrestle himself or trying to. Oh wow, that was a nice Makikomi from Caleb <laughs> and the peace sign to to follow it up. So. Zoom this in here. Andre, very active, trying to get around. Um, Andre, if you are watching, I don't, I don't know if you are or not. Um, when you're side on like this, um, I advocate trying to get your hooks in first, like just kind of trying to uh, settle on top of Caleb first um, for this kind of reason. So your your arm is trapped in here, and, and Caleb has what. Oh, <laughs> what's up, man? Yeah, so so what I would recommend is kind of sitting up with a, a little bit higher posture, like over top of Caleb's hips here, and see if you can start working in uh, your hooks. Um, maybe grabbing onto his hip, giving him some pulls uh, to see if you can get him off balance. Um, but since you're off balance like this, he just kind of grabbed your arm and, and started to roll. Um, it's a tough one against him. It looked like you were making that adjustment anyway. You were trying to come up a little bit higher and, and settle in over the top of the hips, and he had just already sunk in the grip. Yeah. Coop working top game here against Cole. I like what he's doing. We got uh, Andrew doing the same to me. Andrew got past my guard. He was doing a good job um, passing. Wound up getting past my guard there with a little knee push and slipping his leg through. Very simple, but very effective. Caleb working into this north-south here on Andre. Going in for a dorsal Kimura. I like what he's doing here. Oh, but decided to back out. Didn't feel comfortable. Andre trying to get that bottom leg, his left leg, into the mix here to, to get his guard back. Caleb's doing a good job addressing that, but Andre regards anyway. Your, your regarding dude is is very good. Victor in on the back of Veronica back here. I really like how he's chasing the back down, using his upper body to stay glued to the back of the shoulders and then prioritizing um, the upper body grips, but then also making sure that he doesn't forget about the lower body hooks. Veronica doing what she does best and shaking you off the back. Because there's really no point. I can't strangle her. <laughs> I finally get to top position on Andrew here. Um, I think, yeah, he attacks my back. <clears throat> Goes a little high, trying to attack my arm or, or going into a triangle. Um, I use it, I turn it into a, a, a leg drag, or I'm, yeah, a leg drag here. Um, I get caught. He is using a sticky hook right here, um, his right leg, in order to try and prevent me from coming around. Uh, so I'm going to try and trap his leg with my right leg here to peel off the hook. And now I am able to start stepping around the guard and securing a top pin. And with all that, that's round two. Wow. I guess the first round was really short. Ben and Andre, I think this was a banger. God. 
Also, Mitchell and Andrew stepping in. We got Victor and Caleb. I think Austin comes in. I was asking Alex and he was, he wanted the round off. So I was gonna take, I, I think I take Austin here. Andre and Ben feeling each other out with these mutual collar ties. Andrew going through trying to pass Mitchell's guard. Which Mitchell's guard is getting better and better with each passing day, especially with his, his leg entries. Really happy to see that. Andre sitting, elevating, trying to get a sweep out of Ben to no avail. Good luck, man. Life. I I have a hard time with Ben trying to trying to take him over. His hips are very, very fast. Ben trying to get past that lower leg, and Andre's very good at getting that, in this case, his left leg in between himself and Ben. if Ben can do anything from here, if Andre's able to escape. Ben has Andre's arm pinned across his chest. Oh, but Andre got it back. So, um, cross Ashi entry here on Austin. Um, Austin's coming in. He's trying to prevent me from going into Ashi, uh, into straight Ashi. So he's, you'll kind of see that he's folding his right leg in, um, in order to prevent my right leg from being able to shoot into Ashi. In doing so, he gives me the opportunity to grab his leg, invert. And then pop him down to the ground that way we can work into the cross Ashi position. Um, notice that I'm taking my time here uh, in, I mean, this is leg week, so I'm kind of focusing in on, on this particular one. Um, notice that in cross Ashi, I am not prioritizing getting a figure of four of my legs. I'm stomping my left leg down in between his legs and I'm kind of flaring my knee out ever so slightly, not not terribly so. Um, and I'm keeping my knee behind Austin's knee to try to keep a bend in his leg. That's gonna prevent him from trying to just run right out. It doesn't prevent him from de defending, it just prevents him from running out. So we roll. He puts himself into 50-50 and goes into a counter attack on me. So that's a this is a really good defense. Um, notice I do not have heal exposure. His heal is completely hidden from mine or from from my arm. Okay, so as I go to dig, he astutely rolls in the direction that we tell you not to go if somebody has the heal, right? Because if you go this way and somebody has your heel, you're breaking your own leg. But I don't have his heel. So he rolls through, and now I end up in 50-50 with Austin. So Austin's upgraded his leg position. I've downgraded mine. Okay, because now we are in equal terms, or in an equal exchange. I go ahead and cross my legs. Austin goes and crosses his legs to try and prevent um, any sort of heel hook. I weave. I catch. And I'm in on the, on the finish. Alright. I knew I missed something, and I just barely, just caught it. 
so let's zoom in here on Cole and Alex for now. So Cole's gonna go up and catch this pinch headlock here. Really nice execution of the shoulder crunch. So he goes in for a pinch headlock, and as Matt has talked about on prior streams, um, so so Cole is actually going the quote unquote um, wrong way for the shoulder crunch, right? Normally with the shoulder crunch, we capture that shoulder and then we use the like the uh, the reinforcing arm. I don't know what to call it. Like the so if I'm shoulder crunching with my right arm, use the other arm to go underneath the chin and you sweep the person towards their shoulder crunched arm and Cole is not doing that. He's actually just lifting the arm and kicking out Alex's leg from underneath him. Right? Doesn't really work out the first try. So he goes and he does it on the other side. No, I, I do. This is the probably my highest success rate with the shoulder crunch is to do it this way. And the reason is, is because of what you just what you just showed. So you take somebody you give him a little bit of, of umph, a little bit of off balance, he pummeled his arm through, you go through, you catch again on the opposite side, and you take him to the wrong way again. Right there. So you made him overcommit, basically. To defending one side, you made him overcommit, and then you take him over to the, to the other side. Yeah, yeah, point, plain and simple, don't let him grab you. Yeah, it's probably a mistake. It's a trap. What's up, Caleb? Dude, now I'm pissed about this freaking chat not being up here. He is mean when he grabs you. He, he he makes your nose bleed, right, Cooper? I haven't made a live stream in a Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, and uh, Mitchell doing what Mitchell does <clears throat> with this <laughs> crazy inversion that he's using in order to get out, out of mount. Look at this. This guy is crazy. Unbelievable. Andrew's like, I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna have to bail. Ooh, Andre in potentially on a leg. How did you get there? That was good. So I think Andre is executing what we learned in class. Yep. Beautiful. So let's zoom in on this. Um oops. So Andre is going through, he's trying to figure out how to get into Ben's legs. He's seeing it as a possible vulnerability. Um, can't get Ben, you know, Ben is, is kind of doing this can opener, right? To where he's got a, a double collar tie or at least a single collar tie and maybe a shoulder post on the other, uh, with the other hand and staying back on his haunches. Um, tough to elevate somebody that way. But Andre goes to an armpit, uh, like a C grip underneath the armpits it elevates and extends his leg through in order to go into uh, capture that leg. It doesn't work out, but you now can see like how powerful that can be when you can elevate your partner just by grabbing underneath the arms, just like Andre did right there again. That was awesome. Look at that. So. Lift. Goes straight in. He's like, nope. He, Ben's not giving me the the leg entry. So I'm gonna come back on up to, on top for a sweep. That was nice, man. That was really nice. Ben gets back up. And they're back at it. Andrew trying to get this triangle. 
Dude, that was those were that was two really good execution. Um, it, it doesn't work every single time, right? Especially since Ben clearly knows that it's it's coming. And uh, I'll tell you, I I spam the hell out of that on him too. So he's he's just catching on. Got Cole and Luke. We've got Andrew and Austin. I'm uh, I'm with Caleb. Cole trying to break the guard of Luke. <clears throat> Trying the old log splitter. There you go. Yep, Andre got it on on Coop right there. Exactly what we went over. Luke in on a potential triangle. He's got this trap triangle going, but Cole has his arm in. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Austin in on an armbar, it looks like, on Andrew. I'm going to let that play out and see if there's anything to review. <laughs> yeah, I wish you would have listened because he beats my ass, I think, right after this. Nice triangle from Luke. How did he extract your arm? Oh, I see. Yeah, so Luke's been... Oh, nope, never mind. You extracted your own arm, okay. Luke's really been going to this wrong way triangle. Um, if he's having trouble with the, with the emote or the straight triangle. Then he just switches back. You can always switch back and forth between the Emote and the Hantai, uh, or the wrong way triangle and the straight triangle. Um, you know, as long as you maintain a constant connection with your leg. So, see if I can find. So, notice that when Luke unlocks his legs, his hand is right there to reinforce. Um, the closing of that circle right here now that he leave he throws his leg up and he makes that connection He doesn't have to use his hand anymore <laughs> Yeah, no problem. I'm pretty much fluent in Japanese except I'm not And I probably mispronounced both of those Luke doing what Luke does. Yep, really nice pass around Cole's guard. Yeah, Cole, you don't look ready. Nice. That was that was a really solid back take from Luke. Let's see this armpit push. He's looking to isolate that far arm. You can tell he, that's what he's he's looking for there. Dancing around, maybe trying to go for that Kimura. Dives through to try to get the Kimura. Falls back, um, but Cole gives him a good um, a good reaction to to start running away. Right when you run away like this, you know. Luke always has the opportunity to follow or track you. And um, so Luke has that Kimura grip locked up. Uh, he uses it to slow Cole down. 
gets his right leg into the mix. And then he's probably gonna take, yep, take Cole to the side of the hook. And um, I also favor this leg configuration. This is what we call the high ball ride, which is where you don't worry about throwing in the top hook um, and you just lock up your legs uh, just below the hips and then you ride your knee right on top of the hip, like so. Now, Luke can take his time, get his hook back into play, and start working upper body grips. <laughs> now Luke is in on that arm triangle. Looks very, very tight. Got a feeling. <laughs> okay, all right. Cole survives. Good for you, man. I don't know that I would have. Coop going in for that uh, the little the dummy sweep there the double ankle sweep on Andre. Andre unfazed goes in attacking the leg, looking to break some ankles. Good regard from Cole trying to get both butterfly hooks in between. Him and Luke try and stave him off for a little while. Coop went in on a leg there on Andre. All right, so this is something interesting to point out. Um, maybe for those of you who are interested in learning the art of passing guard, watch something that Luke does um, to Cole that I think a lot of people m miss. Um, notice that he uses his right hand here in order to push on Cole's head and get his back flat to the mat. The reason he does this is to try and make Cole slower to react, right? When we have our full back, our shoulders and our hips on the mat, it doesn't, we're not very nimble there, right? We have a lot of friction, a lot of surface area on the mat causing a lot of friction. Um, then he's getting his legs into the, into the mix and trying to step in deep with that right leg here, you see? And then he is coming down um, and trying to crowd out the legs all the while keeping Cole flat on his back. This is what's setting him up for success in terms of passing. Now, if Cole can get Luke's hips above Cole's hips, then Cole has an advantage. Otherwise, Luke has an advantage here. Or smack him, sure, yeah. But notice here, Luke doesn't push on the head. Why? Because Cole's back is on the mat, right? He's he's side on, but he's he's laying down, right? He's in his supine guard. Really nice coop for this Ashi or single leg X sweep. Uh, so yeah, so Coop, you did the thing from class as well. You did a mount escape. You find the leg that's open. You go in. You hit single leg X or uh, a Rimiashi, and then you put Andre down onto a hip. Great job. That's exactly what you need to do. <laughs> Trying to find the heel, but Andre rolls right out of it now. This is again, um, you have to be very careful here, uh, but this is the way to roll a, out of a heel hook if your partner does not have your heel exposed. So I'll zoom in because I love doing this. So no heel exposure. There was a little bit of heel exposure, but Coop didn't have a, a solid grip um, there. Now, when Andre rotates, it's tough for Cooper to track him, meaning that 
he doesn't uh, Andre doesn't give Coop a lot of back exposure when he's rotating out towards the heel hook rather than away from the heel hook. When you rotate away from the heel hook, um, the, per the person attacking can track you and it's actually a little bit easier for them to chase your back down. This way, it's more difficult to chase your back down. Ooh, Cole, one of his trigger words is pal. I think uh, you may need to back off, Coop. It's a pal, wow. All right, we've got Luke and Ben. We've got Cole and was that Andre? Solid fist. Yeah, he basically just punches your hand. Like. <laughs> So Cole, I don't know, I don't know if you know this or not, but the leg configuration that you have right now is very, very close to a Remy Ashi, like the the leg entanglement that we go over, right? The um, in what we went over a lot in class. If you were able to get uh, Andre pointed in this direction, or you know, pushing with your left arm into his armpit and getting going this. You know, over here towards the lion, then you should be able to throw this reaping leg, reaping leg in and start attacking his right leg. You do what you do best, which is, um, which is sweeping and getting in the top position. That's great. Nothing wrong with that at all. That was a winning, a winning move, right? That was good. Um, nice elevation by Andre. Andre, I would accentuate the movement. So just just seeing the past few, um, so you're doing you're doing a really good job of pulling him and elevating him. I would like to see Cole's head um, at or above your head. So like the top of his head at the top of your head, if not over top of your head. You kind of crunch in a little bit, but I mean send it. Throw him over top of you. You'll be able to get into into his legs that way. Cole going double overs. Um, that double overs is uh, is tough on Cole. I know this is the move that we went over in class. Um, set up more with a collar tie or something. No, you can you can literally just help him along with that armpit push that you used on whoever you were training with before. Um, you can just like send it over top of your head, kind of like you're just like, I don't know, doing like a straight curl, uh, not a straight curl, but I don't know what to call that. Kind of like a, 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 a lat raise or something like that. Cole's on top. He's uh, looking to isolate that arm. Ben and Luke are still standing here. Luke pulling guard, trying to get get a sweep out of that. Ben on the front headlock. Ben's front headlocks are tight. They are nothing to uh, to to shy, or you should be definitely shy away from it. Dude, yeah, of course. Yeah, he's, it's very tough to get his arms isolated. Absolutely. You're doing what you're supposed to, though, Cole. Uh, giving him something to think about with that forearm across the throat. Trying to get that, um, his arms above his head. This is, this is good. You're doing exactly what we've discussed. I would like to start seeing you going for both arms to try and get both arms over top of the head like we talked about. Um, I'm 
definitely not unhappy with the way that you're approaching this top game though. But you see this arm here, Cole, um, you can kind of sit up a little bit and use your right arm to start scooping underneath this elbow. And yeah, good Upa from Andre. Luke on Bin's back. Let's see how he got there. How did he get on top? Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, I remember that. So Luke goes in and uh, hits like a, it's like a front headlock and then he goes into a sumigashi and winds up following him all the way to the top. Ben's doing a good job here trying to do the, uh, the, the tried and true elbow escape. Not able to really get on his side. Ben, I don't know if you're watching. Um, I know you do watch fairly regularly. And I know it was kind of late, but really when you're when you're going over to the side here and you're, you're doing your, your grips are great, um, everything looks good, but the pushes, um, I want to see you really committing to getting on your side, meaning that one of your shoulders is up and one of your shoulders is down. And you need to keep your top elbow um, on the same side of Luke's belly button as you know as your body like you can't let it cross his belly button now you're in a gift wrap this is a gift wrap position and now luke's gonna go for that chair sit back take taking the back Luke's trying to send in the strangle arm, I think, on the bottom side. And I think he... Oh, nope, he didn't get it. I, I, was, I was watching, but I can't remember how this ends. Really nice mount. Andre, um, Andre staying pretty heavy, trying to get uh, Cole's shoulder under, uh, like on the mat here. Does a good job, starts leading with the knee, getting Cole's legs pointed or knees pointed in the opposite direction with his elbow isolated. Um, Andre has the underhook here. He slips, you can see this is the the bottom of Cole's elbow, and so Andre can slip his leg right in and score the mount. Very nice. Isolating the left arm of Cole, riding up nice and high. Uh, I'll tell you the same thing, Andre, as I told Cole before. When you go for one arm, I want you to go for both. So you're going for one arm at a time. I'd like to see you going for both arms to try and get them above his head. Give him something to really think about. Good Oompa from Cole. And I really like this, um, this transition. I personally love this transition, actually. So um, Luke is having a hard time getting the strangle and decides to call an audible here, right? So he has a, um, he's gonna go for a bottom side control arm, kind of, right? He doesn't have the control arm exactly, um, but he does have been under control, right? With kind of like a pseudo seatbelt grip. He's gonna throw his right leg up and over and try and find the uh, elbow crease of Bin and try and trap the top arm. Later, Andre. Yeah, man, no worries. Have a good night. Uh, so he, he gets his uh, heel into the crease of the arm, starts pulling back, locks up his legs here. And now it's kind of, it's not a matter of time necessarily, but 
Luke locks up the the bottom side arm for the control arm. He gets it more in like a figure of four Kimura grip. And then you'll see him switch to the top. Patiently waiting, trying to see what Ben's gonna do as a reaction. Uh, Ben's not really moving a whole lot. And so uh, Luke is gonna go and try for the, um, the rear triangle. But Ben gives him a big movement, does not let go of the leg. So Ben has his leg trapped. Luke can't go up and actually lock up the rear triangle all that well um, or confidently, right? So he's not making big movements. Ben gives him a big explosive movement. And so now Luke transitions to an arm bar instead and gets it. That was a nice, that was a nice switch. Now Ben's on top trying to pass Luke's guard. Then I think Luke tries to get um, like some sort of triangle on Ben. I don't know which kind it was, but Ben slipped out of it. Good round. That was a really good round. Now I get my ass kicked from Luke for about f six minutes. He told me that I get minus two. I told him that I went in for a leg. So it was more of a, a failed shot than it was a guard pull. Trying to see if I can score any sort of good offensive grips. Oh, we got Andre and Caleb. Trying to get some offensive grips going on Luke, uh, trying to expose his leg um, to see if if uh, if I can get anything moving here. Also, trying to not let him advance all that much. Um, I'm learning that um, that kind of feeding my elbow on top of the shoulder here, um, I can start going for like a cheeky little, not a guillotine, but kind of like a an, an annoying little five finger guillotine um, to get him to back off from there. Notice that um, the only way that I'm really able to keep any sort of endurance with my guard here, it's not not like, definitely not like a strength or core thing, right? It's more so me giving, attempting to give Luke something to think about other than passing my guard. So a lot of what's going through my head here and Luke's head is what's, you know, what what are the attacks that I have available, right? And then um, do I have to be defensive or can I be offensive? So the longer I stay on offense against him, the um, easier it is for me to quote unquote retain guard, right? Um, so I'm always going up trying to attack. In this case, I go up and try and get a shoulder, um, shoulder crunch until I don't feel like I can do anything anymore. And then I, um, I start looking for underhooks and trying to uh, escape and get into a better half guard. So I missed Caleb, how Caleb and Andre got down to the ground. Snap and then Andre pulls, tries to shoot into the legs. Okay. Now Caleb's on top, good north-south position. I like how he's diagonal. Um, this is what I like to see from north-south. We've got Caleb's head 
in you know the right hip of Andre, and his hips are on the left shoulder. Circling around, trying to expose an arm. Caleb, he just let up just a hair. If I, you need, and I, I, I don't really want to tell you this, right? But you need to keep your head pinned down to the hips, um, the whole time, right? Until you, until you scoop up the arm. Little elevation there from Andre. Rolling through, trying to elevate again. Yeah, Luke went for something, um, almost like a back take on me, and I, I kind of rolled through and wound up regarding. Luke was doing a really good job of staying very heavy on my hips. Notice, uh, Cole, I'm in the same position that you were with Andre, and I, I wasn't able to elevate uh, Luke. He was sitting back on his haunches, um, and I, I wasn't able to elevate. Goes around, tries to, he's going, almost gets past my guard. I turtle up. Um, he goes to take my back. Um, I deny him the bottom hook here. He goes for a long hook and starts attacking my back. Or I'm sorry, attacking my neck. And in doing so, when he transitions back to the top, I get him trapped in um, three quarter mount and then I'm able to regard into butterfly. Oh, Andre wound up getting on top over here. Oh, I got you. So Caleb sets up a north-south strangle. Got it. That was clean. That was really nice. Good job, Caleb. So now Andre's on top, going around north-south. Luke is advancing on my bottom. Good, you should keep doing them. Except for me, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do them to me. It's outlawed. And then you dumped him. Solid, nice. This is, a, this is something that's difficult to teach. Um, it is more so just, um, uh, I, I don't know what it is, but this is really just chasing your partner down. Um, so Andre is trying to uh, obviously run away from the sweep. Caleb is staying in on the leg, kind of grabs the ankle, almost like a little ankle pick here, and then lifts the leg and almost treetops him over. It's a sense of urgency. That's what I was looking for. It's the sense of urgency. When you're going for a sweep, you should, um, you really need to chase him down. So Luke winds up getting past my guard here at like 50 seconds left in the match. I was pissed. So I was staving him off this whole time. I felt like I was possibly getting some good looks at submissions. He goes through, he gives me this really confusing um, hip movement. So he comes around to the, what I'll call the front or the strong side of my guard here. I'm like fully prepared to battle this out, right? He sits over. This is where I'm fighting, right? Like I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go into my into a turtle position and I'm gonna try and regard and I'm actually gonna try to attack that far arm, the one that you can't see. He steps over. I'm like, okay, cool. I still have a butterfly hook here, but I'm too slow. As soon as I start to extend so that I can get my hips out of the way, Luke slaps it right around the guard and passes. And that is with 40 seconds left on the clock. I'm like, well, 
Damn. All that work. I denied him the back, but he slips right up into a full mount. And uh, he wins. Pretty much. What? I don't know what that is. Eight to nothing? I don't know. No, seven. Seven nothing. If he would have just sank that hook in, IBJJF, he would have got another four. But, um, yeah. That was a good round. It was a fun round. Um, I was happy with, with the guard retention that was happening up to 40 seconds left. <laughs> but, what can you do? Later, Caleb. Have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. So we've got Andre and Luke, we've got Caleb and Ben. Andre keeping a hold on Luke's ankles, trying to see if he can use some misdirection in order to pass I like that running through trying to hit a quick knee cut but Luke blocks it with his back leg Caleb in half guard on his back with Ben this is not a place you really want to be with Ben he's very good at passing from here Caleb's almost in the turtle Ben is able to, it looks like he's he's going to turn him over and flatten him back out. I believe Ben is past the guard here. Yeah, he is. Oh, that was really nice. Kind of floats right over top. So as Caleb is trying to turtle up, Ben takes the opportunity to hop right over. Caleb's like, uh-oh, and then turns his legs to try to hook and, and keep that hook engaged or get that hook, hook engaged. And Ben just goes right around to the other side. Andre's playing butterfly, keeping his knees in nice and tight, trying to elevate Luke, but not able to. I was having problems as well. But Andre's doing a really good job of keeping his butterfly hooks engaged here. Luke has really given him a lot to think about with these hip switches. Now Luke has a shin pin with his right leg against the left hamstring of Andre. Um, and then he's kind of sitting on that right butterfly hook. Not a guaranteed pass, but it's a good way to wear your partner down with, with what Luke is doing. Been in north-south on Caleb. Doing a good job of keeping him pinned. Luke really wearing, uh, got past that right leg of Andre. And now past the other leg and into a full mount. Got Caleb regarded on, or Got a good regard on Ben. Uh, ben was moving moving around here. Caleb's trying to get onto his side. He finally gets there and then uh, just creates just enough space in order for him to get his legs uh, in between him and Ben, giving him the regard. And then Luke with the smother.
think we only have one more round left after this. It's me and Bin. Luke trying to get into the legs of Andre. Andre backing out smartly. Oh, Andre jumping in on a leg. Told him to get on his on that side. Goes and uh, tries his best. It's tough to straight ankle Luke. Very difficult. Me and Ben. Ben likes to grab this uh, this tight waist here and then use his head to pressure pass. I'm using my legs to kind of pinch together here to try and keep his left or his right leg at bay. Um, he did a really good job there of kind of circling around and uh, getting high up with his right knee above my knee. Um, I'm fishing my right leg in as a butterfly hook so that I have the chance to elevate him. I'm doing a little bit here. Can't really get a good angle. But I'm working on it. Now I've got the cross face in front here. I'm able to push on the hips and then use that butterfly hook to elevate and get my guard back. Fall back into the same position. You can see that I'm using this low uh, Z guard, I guess. Um, Sometimes I like having people advance on me like this um, because you can see how I'm hiding my left arm. Um, my left arm can sometimes shoot through and get the underhook. So even though you see my hand is on this side of his body, um, I can sometimes shoot this arm across um, to the same side hip and get a nice underhook here like I just did. Now I'm in on a shoulder crunch, trying to extend away, but Ben is very good at getting around the shoulder crunch. I am, um, I felt pretty good about this one, but I couldn't find his elbow. And uh, he slipped. doing a good job. I, I feel like he's going to be trying to break open my closed guard here by doing a, a standing guard break. Um, so I'm immediately addressing his wrists to try and keep his posture broken down and low. We're kind of stalling out here. I'm trying to get some stuff moving. Um, open up my guard. And then we were up against the wall, so we reset. Got a little bit of a sweep going there, but I wasn't able to chase it up. Uh, ben was very ready for it, so he uh, he met me at the top, and I was like, no, I'm just gonna pull again and see if I can find another arm. Um, I pull into, just like what, uh, what um, Andre had been trying all night, trying to elevate Ben, uh, but I was not able to get his head as high up as I wanted to. Uh, he pretty much met me head height wise and uh, I use it to come up and grab an arm but he threatens to pass my guard in doing so so I had to back off of that <clears throat> now here um, I find his arm uh, above my uh, that I can sneak my arm in uh, underneath his arm I get him in a pinch headlock and now I am able to really get a really good bite on his left arm. 
this was almost almost finish worthy. I found his elbow, and uh, in doing so, he gave up the sweep so that I wasn't able to do any damage to the arm. So I let go, I ride out top. Had some pretty decent smother pressure going here. But I was not able to get the finish in time. Alright, well that was a fun Monday. I know everybody's uh, checking out and everything, so... Thanks a lot for joining. Anybody who's in the chat, really appreciate you. Make the uh, the time go by, um, for sure. Hope you enjoyed the commentary and everything. So, um, any feedback or whatever is always welcome in class. If you guys have any questions when you come to class, find us. And of course, hey, look, James, it actually worked in the closing. Um, I don't know, man, but whatever. Yeah, no worries, Coop. <clears throat> there it is. There it is. Um, yeah, any questions, bring the class. We will be there. I think Matt's going to be out here for the next couple of weeks, few weeks, whatever. He's going to have a very busy uh, September. Um, but me and Luke will, well, no, me and Danny will be there tomorrow. Uh, Danny's teaching tomorrow. I am teaching on Saturday. Um, and Luke will be back Monday. So uh, if you have anything, bring it to class. We will gladly answer answer that uh, we do have a competition coming up in November if you are interested in competing please find a coach we'll go over the rules um, we'll let you know about comp class and all that stuff um, I think we're gonna be doing that on Sundays but I'm not 100% positive so yeah I think that's about it so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there thanks again for joining and until next time Trim your nails, do your laundry, and don't be stinky. Thanks, guys. See ya.